Hi, my name is Andres Quintero and today I will be testing the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the density filters. I will be flying around this river to see how much motion capture we can have and I will try to fly between the rocks and I will make short videos of each flight to compare them. Let's see how it goes. So I will start with the test number one. I will fly without any density filters. With this uh, kind of mode without any density filters and shutter speed of one over a 50th it is completely wide, you don't see anything. You will have to use a faster shutter speed, so it won't be possible to make a lot of uh, motion in the, in the video. Okay, let's start with it. So, first of all, I will have to change the shutter speed to about one of uh, 1,600. Yeah, there I can see something. So let's start, it's gonna take off now. Yeah, so actually it's too bright. I have to go even further, 2000, and let's change the white balance. Yeah, white balance about 5600. Okay, it's ready to fly. I am recording in cine like, so we can edit the colors after it. Okay, let's start over here. So that was the first testing without any density filter. Right now we'll start with the softest density filter, which is the number, let's see it, number 16 is this one here. We have 16, 64, and at the end we will lose 256. Let's see how it goes. So right now we'll change the settings again to one of one fiftieth of a second for the shutter speed. Let's see how it looks like. It's already looking better, but it's still too bright. I will have to use more than one of a fiftieth. Let's see, one fiftieth. So around one one hundred sixty of a second is fine. So I will fly with that. Let's see. Perfect. Let's do it. So for the filter number two, the 64, we will use same ISO 100 and we can fly with 1 30th of a second. So I assume it will be a lot of motion. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the drone is back. Now we're gonna fly with the last filter, the 256. Let's see how it goes. So right now it seems very dark with 1 50th of a second and it's a bit cloudy too. So probably I will have to use a very slow velocity or I will need to increase the ISO. 400 ISO, I guess a bit more, 800. Yeah, seems like I will need 800, let's see. So 800 maybe is too much, 400. So, the last, the last density filter is probably when it's super, super sunny. If not, uh, it's gonna be too dark. So as a conclusion of the density filters for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, I would say my favorite so far is the middle one. I know it depends on the situations when you're flying. Today is very, very sunny. It's super strong light. And the time when I used the maximum density filter, the 256, it was way too darker. So I would say I would use it only in extreme situations where the light is way too much and I need a lot of motion. 
but with that one I also needed to use more ISO and that will damage the quality of the video. So far my favorite was the 64 because I was able to shot in 100 ISO. I shot with very slow velocity. I shot at around, around 1 30 of a second and the motion I got of the river was very very nice. I liked it a lot. Yeah that's it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you already have the DJI density filters or if you have already tested them and remember to like and to follow to more videos like this one.